All right, we're going to pretend for a moment that I have a microscope, okay? And that microscope can see very, very far in on things. And these things are going to be pixels. So I'm going to have an 8 pixel by 8 pixel by um, 8 pixel document. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to take my pixel making tool, commonly known as the pencil, and I'm going to plop down a pixel. And then I'm going to put a pixel right next to it. This is pixels per inch. Okay. And what happens here is these are square. And when I print them out on paper, they become dots, not squares. So that's the difference between PPI and DPI. PPI is measured on your screen. Uh, you can see pixels on your screen sometimes if it's a low resolution document. And why your photos and everything look so amazing on your screen is the fact that they are laying side by side with no space in between them whatsoever. Okay. So what happens when I print? Well, they turn to dots. So to kind of mimic this, what I want to do is go in here and go to image size. And so let's say I double this to 16. Okay. They're starting to haze out and they're starting to blend together. Okay. Let me illustrate it a little bit even easier for you. Let's go to something like 300 dots per inch. Okay, notice there is a rounding that is happening between these. Okay, and this rounding occurs because you're starting to turn to a dot. Well, what happens when you have a dot or a square and it rounds up? Well, there's a value in here that's starting to be lost. Um, again, it's really hard to illustrate this the right way. Uh, I guess another way is make two by two by two. And it's not like you're ever going to be making these documents this low res, but <laughs> as a teacher, you're always looking for a way to illustrate something, right? Um, so if I take this two by two by two and make it 72, there we go. So. Here's what it looks like now. Now this is very zoomed in. Before this is just averagely zoomed in. Now I'm incredibly zoomed in. So now I get this rounding of this pixel and when it touches another pixel, it has a value being lost in between it. So that's what happens when you print something. When you print something, it becomes a dot and the space becomes bigger between the actual pixels because they're no longer pixels and round circles can't be stacked next to each other. So that resolution drop right there makes your picture look bad, okay? And the formula for this is if you take a 300 PPI document and you go to print it out, it's actually 150 DPI. So it's cut into half just by printing it. Again, something nerdy that you probably don't need to know, but Again, referring back to this video, um, it, it's nice for a senior citizen that's taking photographs to realize what's happening to their prints. Um, if I had that cupcake picture <laughs> or the cake picture um, and I had this open and I, I went to try to print that, um, I, it would print very, very good in today's standards. Okay, but the magic is really uh, knowing the science behind it. So you would say, well, you know, at uh, 240 PPI, okay, uh, it would only be 120 DPI. The magic happens, though, however, because at 240 resolution, this is actually DPI we're looking at already. 
Okay, this is not PPI, even though it says pixels to inch. So this is actually DPI. So it's not 120 DPI, it's actually 240 DPI. So at least Photoshop waters it down a little bit so you don't have to worry about converting pixels to dots. But no, that's how it works. That means if you're looking for a camera and it says it's shooting at 600 PPI, that's good because it's shooting at 300 dots per inch. Okay. All right. So there's a conversion for you in case you ever get that nerdy and you want to walk into Best Buy and say, I need a 700 DPI camera. And if he goes, well, that's really PPI, you, you could have a conversation that way. So enjoy and please move on to the next video.